We start the third week of testimony in the Karen Reed murder trial with property owner Brian Albert on the stand today for cross-examination. Hello, everyone. I'm Glenn Jones. And I'm Priscilla Casper. Reed is accused of hitting her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe, and leaving him to die in a blizzard. Her defense says she is being framed. Our NBC 10's Kirsten Glavin has been following this trial since the very beginning. She's joining us live in Norfolk Superior Court with details on what we heard from Reed's defense today. Kirsten. Well, Brian Albert's testimony was picked apart by Reed's attorneys today, claiming there's no way he could have slept through the hysteria that was unfolding outside that morning. They added, neither could his dog. Back on the stand for a cross examination. I do. Brian Albert, the property owner where John O'Keefe's body was found dead in the front yard. Albert initially testifying that he didn't know or hardly knew Karen Reed, but the defense showing this photo of Albert and John O'Keefe six days before the incident. Reed allegedly took it. Karen Reed took the photo, you're literally staring right at her, correct? I, I don't know who took the photo. This video then shown of Albert and Reed seemingly talking at the Waterfall Bar and Grill the night before O'Keefe died. I do not recall having conversations with Karen Reed that night at all, no. The next morning, Albert testifying he and his wife slept through the screams and emergency vehicles outside of his bedroom window. You and Nicole and Chloe, the German Shepherd, all slept through the entirety of that commotion on your front lawn. Yes. Reed's defense team also accusing Albert of later getting rid of his cell phone one day before receiving a state order to preserve his data. Albert claiming he needed an upgrade. I'm sure that the, they, the data is not there anymore. I'm it's sure. It's destroyed, sir, correct? I, I don't know that for a fact. Siblings Brian Albert Jr. and Caitlin Albert taking the stand after. We were just all hanging out, listening to music. We ate some food. Both describing a fun evening inside the home. I remember that my mom had grabbed like a small speaker and put some music on. We had a couple drinks and everyone was just kind of like having a good time. Brian Albert was also questioned about phone logs and phone calls between him and Brian Higgins, one of his friends, sometime after 2 a.m. that morning. He claims they never spoke and that it was a butt dial. We'll have more on that coming up tonight at 7 o'clock. For now, we're live in Dedham. I'm Kirsten Glavin, NBC10 Boston. Yeah, that was an interesting part of the testimony today. Kirsten, thank you. Be sure to stay with NBC10 Boston for continuing coverage. And coming up at 7 p.m., we have another installment of Can Confidential, the Karen Reed murder trial. Trial. And if you want to watch the daily proceedings, we carry all the testimony live on NECN, NBC10Boston.com, and on our streaming platforms.